Hi, this is Suzette Allen. Thanks for listening to my CS5 blog. I got some great new features to show you today. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this picture of Lindsay and we're going to fix up the background. We're going to use Content Aware Fill to get rid of these little lanterns on the wall and we're going to get rid of this pot. Then I'm going to show you a really clever way to get rid of this door. First thing we're going to do is zoom in on these lanterns with Lindsay, and I want to get rid of those. So I'm going to use the Spot Healing Brush, and I'm going to use Content Aware. I just need to click on Content Aware, and then make my brush just a little bit bigger, and I'm just going to paint over with the Healing Brush over that lantern. And all it does is takes it away. Now sometimes it'll leave a little bit of a mark, so you might have to do it twice. Usually it does a great job. So if by chance you're up against an area like this, let's see how it does. A lot of times you'll need to do it twice because you don't necessarily get the results you want. Now that time it did a pretty good job on her arm and I just needed to finish that little part right there. I would say that's okay. Most of the time when I do this, it actually does a little flare on her arm. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, that time it kind of took a little bite out of her arm. So let's try something a little differently. If you isolate the area that you're going to use to fill that, it helps. So I'm going to use the magnetic lasso and I'm just going to go right along the edge of her arm and select this area. And I'm telling Photoshop that when I do this content aware fill, I only want to use the area inside that selection. So now when it fills it, it does a much better job in a nice clean line along her arm. There we go. Get rid of these little stray hairs. Now that was much, much better. So I like that better. So let's go down here to this. Now if I try to use Content Aware Fill for this whole pot, I've done it a couple times. It does okay, but not quite as nice as I'd like to on this line. Let's see how it does this time. Yeah, it it could probably be fixed up here, but see how the line is not that straight? So when you do something like this, it might be helpful to use the clone. I'm going to use that at 100%, make my brush just a little bit bigger. And what I want to do is Alt-click right on this line, move down the line so it's in perfect alignment, and then just clone that edge straight over. So now I've got a nice clean line and all I need to do is get rid of this pot. I think this will make it much easier. So now we'll do this one more time on the planter and see how it does. Wow, much, much better. Still a couple little spots we should clean up and occasionally you get a few little repeating patterns. So if you do that, like this little red spot, there's many of them, it works really well to just go to the patch tool and take these and just patch them up to an area that doesn't have that spot in it. Makes it a little bit more random and looks a little bit more natural. So there we go. I would say that looks really nice. So that wall's fixed. Ah, we have a couple little areas in here. It would be nice to fix these. I'm going to use my magnetic lasso again. The magnetic lasso sure seems like it's been improved. So I'm just going to select this area without her hair and I'm going to use the spot healing brush with the content aware feature, make my brush just a little bit smaller and I'm just going to heal that hinge. That looks much better. Now occasionally you might get a little bit of texture going on here. So if you do, a little bit of cloning will work really great to feather that away. There we go. And since my selection's still going, it make sure that I don't get it in any places I shouldn't. Then right here, this is a real easy one to fix. Now this is also helpful to do the magnetic lasso. That way you can clone in here really easily and not worry about getting it on her shirt. There we go, much better. So now let's talk about fixing this side. This is going to be really tricky. And I want to show you kind of a different way to think about this. Now normally you would make a patch of an area, put it over here, and put a mask on there so you could move it around. But I want you to think about it a little bit differently. So I'm just going to use the magnetic lasso and I'm going to select her arm and her body, go right along that edge, 
does a really nice job. And then I'm going to go over to the edge and up and over. Basically, that's the shape of what I want to patch. And I'm going to make a blank layer, and I'm just going to fill it with any old color that happens to be on my color picker. So I've got a brown blob on a layer that is going to be where my patch is. So now I'm going to click on the original layer and I'm going to select this whole side. So that right there is going to be what I'm going to use for a patch. I need to copy that, so Control or Command J copies it to a new layer, and here it is. Now I don't really need that extra elbow, so this works really well. The Content Aware Healing Brush does a great job, gets rid of that elbow. There you go. It did a pretty good job, but there's a couple little spots that need a little help, huh? We'll just clone that a little bit, just so we don't see those two little lines. And now I'm going to use this piece, and I'm going to drag it over where the patch is. Now, it's under the patch, so I want to put it above the patch. And right there is when I, where I want to put it. Now, if I want to clip it to that placeholder, the command is Control alt g or Command-Option-G. And look at that. See how it clipped it right to my placeholder? And now this allows me to move it up and down so that I can match the line of this wall. And the, and the sidewalk. So there we go. Now it matches. Now it's not quite wide enough, so I'm going to do Control T, and I'm just going to stretch it a little bit wider. You can get away with that really easily on this wall. So that works great, and it does a really nice job along her body. However, I can see this hard line up here, and it's because my original patch is was made with a hard edge selection. So all I need to do is take my regular paintbrush and I'm just going to use a soft edge brush, make it a little bit bigger, and I'm just going to paint the edge of that at 100% and paint it softer. So it's going to make that patch show up softer. And I can do this edge down here as well. There you go. So now I just soften that here and there and now my patch works really well. Kind of a different way to think about doing this, but it's a great way to patch things that are tricky with a selection that you need to be able to move. Let's get this lined up just perfect. So that works pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Now this last part down here, it's so simple because it's just pure white here. This is really easy. We can use the right layer and clone it away. There we go. Okay, so now you know how to use the healing brush with content aware, when and how to make selections to isolate it, and a clever way of actually patching a large area that's not practical for using content aware, where you actually need to line up an area. So I hope this is helpful to you. Stay tuned for more CS5 and more speedy tips for Photoshop. Happy Photoshopping!